Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel. On today's episode we are making cabbage rolls. Up next on Love What You Eat. So for the cabbage roll, in the background you see that we started with a little bit of a marinara sauce already going and I have my water boiling for the uh, cabbage because it has to be blanched with a little bit of salt. So to prepare the cabbage, we're just going to slice the bottom and take out the outer leaves that are not good. Remove those. Set those aside. And we have to remove the core. And the reason why we remove the core, it's because once it's blanched, it releases the leaves much easier. I think this is the toughest part. And there we go. So we're gonna put it in boiling water and start blanching our cabbage. All right, so we have our classic marinara cooking in the background. We will link the video for that up above. We also have the cabbage that is blanching in some hot water in a pot with a little bit of salt inside the salted water. And we are starting our filling, which is basically minced meat. Any choice of meat? Any choice of meat. We chose veal for uh, our recipe today, but you can choose beef, pork, a mixture of beef, pork, and, uh, and veal. Some people also take some uh, sausages out of the casing and add it mm -hmm. for extra flavor. So I mean, just many variations out there. So we ended up putting a little bit of vegetable oil, putting our meat, we're gonna be browning that. You'll see us add some spices, some minced carrots and minced celery, and give that all a mix. And we will continue to show you guys the next steps soon. Okay, so you see that the leaves are already starting to loosen. We're just going to turn it over, flip it over for an even blanch. And in about a minute or so, I mean, the cabbage is already ready. Maybe it's been on the pot for about just five for, minutes? Yeah, about. max. 
that the leaves are already starting to loosen up, which makes for very easy assembly after and cooling. So that is the reason why we core it. That is a very important step. Hard at the start, but you save a lot of work later on. All right, so my mother removed the cabbage from the uh, boiling water. It is good once you start to see that it really starts to open up and this will make for easy um, layering off, I guess. So, Reusing of the leaves. Exactly. Reusing of the leaves! <laughs> so it's placed just on the tea towel in a bowl and we're going to let this cool off until it's going to be um, cool to touch. And then we are going to show you guys the next step of separating the leaves and laying them to dry flat, etc. Exactly. Continuing the cooking of the meat. So we're gonna add a little bit of marinara sauce, maybe about two, three uh, ladles just to moisten the, um, the meat. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put it on the side to cool. So the meat mixture is done, semi-cooled. You don't want it to cool too, too much if you're baking it straight away because then you're just going to increase the cook time. Exactly. Um, so what we did is you saw us peel the layers of the cabbage. And the first few, my mother will show you, might look a little... A little more wilted. A little more wilted. But I mean, we still use them. They're very good. And the ending, obviously, the closer you get to the center, they are smaller, not enough to roll, but don't throw away, add them to soups, salads, stir fries, etc. There's never any waste. So what we're looking for are beautiful, strong leaves like so, that we will be filling with our, filling with our filling, <laughs> filling with our stuffing. And um, we're, we just have to add two more ingredients to this meat mixture. So my mother is gonna explain the rice, how we cooked it, and why we cook it this way. Uh, the rice cook it as directed on, on the package, but cook it halfway. The kernels still have to have a little bit of a crunch in it, because if you cook it all the way, when you cook it in the oven, it's just gonna be one big mush. mush. Mushy. Exactly, yeah. so they're gonna finish cooking in the uh, in the oven. So cook them halfway, the kernels have to have a little bit of a crunch. A little bit, kind of like an al dente rice that yeah. we're going for. That's we're right. gonna be adding a little bit of Parmesan, Parmigiano. Yeah, and... for extra flavor. Exactly. And, a little, and a little bit of parsley. That's we're gonna it. mix it together and we'll show you how to... Uh... Stuff and roll. There you go. <laughs> and then in the oven, they will go in a baking dish and uh, layered and smothered in some of our good marinara sauce, which as always, we will link above so that you can take a look to see how we made that from scratch. We're gonna take you on a closer look for the rest of this video. Here we go.
All right, so we have filled up our baking dish until no more can fit. We have ladled over a little bit more of the marinara and then sprinkled a bit optional with some parmigiano. And this will be baking in the oven for how long and at what temperature? A 365 preheated oven for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. We're gonna cover it with aluminum. And about maybe 15 minutes before it finishes to bake slash cook, remove the aluminum foil so that it will uh, release the steam and you'll have a little bit of a crispy crunch with the uh, cheese on top. Delicious. Should you not wanna bake all of this at one shot and just do, let's say, when you do your meal preps, you wanna prep them all, but not wanna bake them all at the same time, what you can do is not putting them in the sauce. Once they're rolled, lay them on a baking sheet and place them in the freezer, correct? Yeah. On the baking sheet, put some uh, wax paper, leave some space in between, put them in the freezer, and once after they're completely frozen, you can put them in an airtight container or a freezer bag for up to two months. It does take a little bit of time to assemble them, but they're so worth it. And then once out of the freezer, if you would want to prepare, then you would ladle in your sauce, put your cabbage rolls and put your sauce on top. So you would basically be freezing them at the once they were rolled up stage. Yeah, exactly. You're not freezing them with the sauce. No. no. <laughs> no. Just the cabbage, the stuffed cabbage itself, no yeah. sauce. This is super delicious, healthy, and uh, let's get it baking to show you guys the end result. In the oven it goes! And now to taste the final product. It was cooking in the oven for about an hour, an hour and a half. You saw us remove the foil closer to the three fourths of the way, about about 45 minutes or so we removed the foil. About the 45, yeah. 15 minute mark. And then we continued to bake it just so that that sprinkle of Parmesan would get a nice little bit of a golden crust. We then scooped some of the sauce that had baked in over top and garnished with some um, fresh parsley. Fresh parsley. You can sprinkle a little bit more Parmesan too if you want, as you wish. I am cutting into this because it smells honestly so good. I want to give this a try. And this is great stuffing. If ever you have any leftover, you could stuff a pepper with it, etc. Put it in a Tupperware, use it for after, for another time. It smells and looks delicious. Mm. Very good. Salud. Love it. Mm. Mm. I love cabbage. I love it raw. I love it cooked. Oh my god. The Light tasting mm -hmm. and healthy. And the filling is not overpowering. You you taste it's a good balance between the filling and the cabbage. It's not a full cabbage flavor. It is blanched perfectly. The rice is cooked to perfection, so that is key. Make sure that you do not overcook your rice because it continues to cook in the sauce with all that moisture, having having it be covered with the foil. This is honestly a must try. Change it up a little bit if you want to put different vegetables or stuff inside. This is just our take on it. We really hope you guys enjoy. Anything you want to add? <laughs> I just want to eat. It's so delicious and my kitchen just smells so wonderful. It does, it does. Thank you guys for watching. As always, tune in weekly for Sunday fresh content from our home to yours, our kitchen to yours. <laughs> we hope that you guys continue to always love, love what, what you eat. eat. Bye for now. Arrivederci.
Mm. Oh, one more. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm.